Alright. What up? It's the boy Fresh. Trey, whatever you want to say. But, um, I'm about to do a new tutorial on how to get 360 waves right quick. First, you're going to need your brush. Motions. Well, that's what I use. Motions. And spin the waves 360 style. One of them. And then you're going to need do rag. This is optional, but or a wave cap. See, I got the thick one. I don't have the little skinny stocking caps because that wasn't working for me. But basically, these are 360 waves right here. I just took my do rag out. So, didn't brush it yet. That's what they look like. But I'm going to show you how to get them. So, what you do first, start off. Just turn the water on, put on hot or medium, whatever. Put water on your head like that. Or you can use a spray bottle. But I find this easier and better. But, I mean, you can do whatever, but... side brush this is I used to have like six brushes but then I gave them away because people kept asking me for my brushes so I just gave them to them and I only use this brush now and my shower brush but it's all you really need is a good shower brush and I recommend a hard brush for your shower brush and an out of shower brush well that's what I do it's whatever I wash my hair about once every week just so I don't get dandruff or nothing. Alright, hair's a little damp. Gotta wait, alright. Put a little motion on. Put a little bit too much, but something like that. I put a little too much. Oh yeah, and there's a thing about getting waves on the sides. When I was brushing it diagonally, I did not get no waves on the side. But this dude told me to brush straight down and I started getting waves on the side. So I recommend you try both ways, but straight down worked for me to get my sides in because at first I didn't have no waves on the side. But when I started brushing straight down, like like kind of immediately when I started brushing straight down, I saw like little waves come like the first time I did ever try to straight down, I saw like little tiny waves come in. But now I got my waves on the side since I started doing that. So. And after that. Your hair should still be damp. And just take a little bit of spinning waves. 
But truthfully, you don't really have to use pomade. You could just get waves with motions. But I use it because my waves got better when I use it. Like I had stopped using it, and my waves like they weren't as good. So I went back to using it. So that's the main reason why I use it. against the wave pattern but when you like washing your hair when you put the shampoo in go against your wave pattern it's alright like when you go washing your hair just rub it all over just to get it in there and then just hand brush it down back with the wave position and brush your hair it's good it, it don't do nothing I know y'all be making it seem so big situation when you go against your wave pattern. Nothing's gonna happen because one day I was just bored, so I combed all my hair back and then I just combed it back and my waves came right back. It was no big deal. Side straight down. Other side. And then put the do rag on. You should start seeing like little waves, like not little waves, but some waves after two weeks. That's what I saw. But it might take you a little bit longer. But after two weeks, I saw waves. But basically, this is 360 waves. My new and improved tutorial. I'm going to keep the old one up there so y'all can see that my waves did get a lot better from the first time I tried to get waves. Yeah. And um guess that's it.